slope. We're going to talk about finding this, the slope of a line. Okay, you're going to use this <coughs> formula. It's rise over run. Rise is the vertical change. Your run is the horizontal change. The easiest thing to remember is you should always go to the right when you're talking about run. When you do that, it will be, you will mess things up a lot less. Right? I find when people try to go to the left with run, you have to change the sign of your rise, which messes people up. So it's easier to go to the right. Sometimes you won't be able to, uh, but for the most part, if possible, go to your right on run. You're asked to find the slope of the skateboard ramp. Slope is known as rise over run. So how much does this change vertically from here to here? How much does that change? 15 inches. From here to here, how much has it changed in the horizontal? 54. Rise over run. So then I reduce it, I can divide both these by three, I get this. Uh, if I, uh, that, right there. Any questions? Just simplify, okay, you want to leave it as a fraction, even if it's a uh, improper fraction, you want to leave it as a fraction, okay? And now, because when you're talking about slope, it makes more sense to have an improper fraction than it would if you had a mixed number, okay? So let's find the slope of this. So slope is always known as rise over run. So you always, always go to the right when you're talking about run. So we start at the far, the point on the left and go to the point on the right. How far up did this go? It started at three and it went to six. So how far up did it go? Three, okay. You, all, you take your final minus the original, so 6 minus 3 is 3. So your rise was 3. How far to the right did this go? Went over 4. You started at the final, which is 8. You subtract the original, which is 4. Eight, 8 minus 4 is 4. So your slope of this line is 3 over 4. Any questions? All right, draw this line in your in your notes. All right, so let's find the slope of this. Slope is rise over run. So I always start at the left point and go right, okay? Because if you don't, it's going to change which one's negative or which one's positive, and you're, you might get confused. So start here, and we're going to this point. How far down did I go? I started at 2 and went down to negative 2, so that's down to four. So is my rise four or is it negative four? Negative four, because I went down four. How far to the right did I go? Seven. I started at negative four, I went to two, so that's six. Okay. Uh, I went over six, you can count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, which this reduces to negative two-thirds. That's why I said we like to keep the negative sign with the rise. Right? Because if you went right to left, you, your run would be negative and your rise would be positive. Which is fine, but if you try to do that on the problem before, both would, would have been negative. Right? Which you might get confused and leave it negative. Uh... All right, so this is the formula for rise over run for slope. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What that means is this is the change in y, the horizontal or the, the vertical change over the horizontal change. Okay, the change in x. So you're going to see a lot of this in your homework today. It's going to say find the slope of a line that passes through these two points. What you do is you use this formula. It's better. I'll, I have found that 99% of people that write down the formula every time will get this right more often than not. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then you plug in the points. 
But what you have to decide is which is going to be your first point and which one's going to be your second point. It doesn't matter on the order of which one's one and which one's two as long as you keep those together. So I'm going to say this is one and this is two. So I'm going to label negative two as x1 because that's my, coord my x coordinate of my first point. So three would be y1, my y coordinate of my first point. That would make four x2 and that would make negative one y2. Now, like I said, you could switch these if you wanted and make this x2 and y2 and make this x1 y1. However, okay, I, it, like it said, like I said, it doesn't matter on the order. But what I find is people make mistakes, and what they'll do is they'll say this is x1, but they'll say this is y1, right? This is your first point, so this has to be y1. If this is x1, this is y1. If this is x2, that's y2. They stay together, all right? You can't go, this is x1, and this is x2, and this would be y1, and this is y, y2. It doesn't work that way, all right? y2 is negative 1. It's minus, so write a minus sign, and then put in y1, which y1 is 3. x2 is 4 minus x1 is negative 2. I have two minus signs side by side. Two negatives make a positive. So I have negative 4 on top and 6 on bottom, which reduces the negative 2 thirds. And there's my answer. So what this means is this line goes down 2 over 3 every time. Down 2 over 3. <coughs> Find the slope of a line that passes through these points. Negative 4, 3, and 1, 2. So always write down your formula for slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is required for when you're showing your work today. Is writing down the, the formula, writing in the points, and then solving for it. Now, you have to decide. I would also, in your, your homework, write down the, the two points they give you. Okay? Don't just go on memory, this is Y1 or that's Y2. Don't do that. Write, the, write these two points down and then label them. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Again, it doesn't matter which one's your first point, which one's your second point. You'll get the same answer every time. For me, I just do it this way. X1, Y1 x2 y2 got to keep the ones and twos together so y2 is 2 minus y1 which is 3 x2 is 1 minus x1 which is negative 4 makes a positive this gives you 5 or no that's not 5 it gives you negative 1 over 5 so that's your slope, negative one-fifth. I'm going to do it the other way to show you that it doesn't matter. So I'm going to change these, okay, just to show you it doesn't matter. You don't have to write this down, just pay attention. So I'm going to do uh, 3 minus 2, which is 1. over negative 4 minus 1, which is negative 5. Guess what? I got the same thing. All right? So it doesn't matter on the order. You can make this 2 and this 1 or vice versa. As long as you keep x2 and y2 together and you keep x1 and y1 together. Write this down. All right, so we're given two points. I want to find slope, which I take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, again, it doesn't matter the order, but I'm going to go this. Okay, make sure you're writing them out and label them. Okay, you will get confused a lot less. So, I do 4 minus 4 over 2 minus negative 3. I get 0 on top. When I have 0 as a fraction on top, I say my slope is equal to zero, which means I have a horizontal line, which you can see above. 
this. When the y coordinates are the same point, it's a horizontal line. It means you have a slope of zero, because anytime you have zero on top of a fraction, it's zero overall. So anytime you see a, a horizontal line, you know it has a slope of zero. All right? Any questions? Write this down. All right, we're given two points. Let's find a slope. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, I'm going to do that right there. Now that's x2, y2. That gives me 0 minus 3 over 1 minus 1. So that gives me negative 3 over 0. When you have something like this, we say the slope is undefined. Because you cannot have 0 as a denominator. When we started talking about fractions earlier in the year, I told you do not put 0 on bottom. You cannot divide by 0. That doesn't make any sense. 0 has no value to it, so you can't divide by it. If you don't believe me, try putting it, dividing a number by 0 in your calculator. It will say error. You cannot do it. So when it's a... And it's a line that has a slope of undefined. It means zero is on bottom. What this means is this is a vertical line. It's a straight up and down line. So a, a line that has a straight up and down line, a vertical line, has a slope that's undefined. I can't tell you how far to the right or left it goes because it doesn't. So I can't tell you the slope. All I can tell you is it goes up and down. Any questions? Uh, if it asks for the slope and it gives you these two points, you'd write undefined. All right. It forms a vertical line. That's why I wrote that, just so you know. Okay. Uh, but you would write undefined. All right? Here's your homework assignment.